The Saskatchewan Ministry of Agriculture and the Saskatchewan Forage Council held a From the Field to the Cow, Hay and Nutrition workshop on December 1, 2011, which toured the Yorkton site to view hay baled with four different treatments in the summer of 2011. Alfalfa meadow brome hay was cut August 8, 2011 and baled August 10, 2011. Five high moisture bales were treated with hay saver. Five high moisture bales were treated with Buchneri inoculant and additionally one bale was made under high moisture conditions and left untreated as a control. Two bales were made under dry conditions to act as controls as well. Exactly. The lower adjusted crude protein number indicates that heat damage likely occurred in this bale during storage. This factor was the most extreme in the high moisture control bale at the Yorkton site. Feed test results showed that the Buchneri hay had the highest TDN, crude protein and relative feed value of the samples taken at this site in 2011. The hay saver hay samples showed higher adjusted crude protein levels than the untreated controls, but had significantly higher mold count numbers than all the other hay tested at the Yorkton site. At this site, the producer had to move to a different field to bale dry hay for the control. This field had a lower proportion of alfalfa in the stand, which likely explains the lower crude protein results for these bales. Except you're supposed to like the other one better. <laughs> uh, no, you know what? You can't really see. But it, it does smell. It definitely it. smells different, Whereas doesn't it? that stuff is... Yeah, it does. Just bad. But I'll tell you right now, my cows eat that. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's, a, it's an application uh, uh, yeah. apparatus yeah. that we uh, set up for uh, the protocol hay saver. And uh, you'll mix uh, water with the product. And uh, it, uh, what it does is... Uh, it's meant for high moisture, but it's it's, it's also uh, makes uh, your feed more more palatable, and the cows like to like the taste of it. And uh, as far as the, the system goes, so that tank will do seventy bales with the mixed product, and uh, and it's pressurized. It's it's always. Uh, it's, Mixing as you're applying, so and then we have a regulator here that uh, manually you regulate your pressure, and from there it, it, it's filtered and it goes down into two end nozzles right above the pickup. And 
those end nozzles crisscross in the middle and uh, and your, your product will stay away from the sides of the bale of the wall, baler walls. And, uh, and usually you're going to get on about that, uh, oh, it's about 70% uh, of a gallon of, uh, of actual water and product for bale. And it's, and it's uh, on a, based on a 12 volt pump system, and uh, your control is basically a uh, toggle switch for your, uh, your, your water pump and a toggle switch for your uh, solenoid. And as you tie the bale, you would just shut the solenoid off, which would keep this pump running to keep circulating product as you're tying and as you're uh, as your bale goes. <coughs> And uh, we call ourselves uh, Silver Farms e and Loots, and we manufacture our product in this, this system uh, on the farm just 20 miles east of here.